And the greatest of dua that one can do in this month is every night Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the last third of the night he comes down. Imagine this, when Jibreel alayhi salam comes down, it's Laylatul Qadr. So imagine the virtue of a night in which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala comes down. And the question you might be asking is, why does Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala come down every single night in the last third of the night? This is to teach us how much we are in need of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We are so in need of Allah azza wa jal that He comes down every single night in the last third of the night. And it gets better. He asks, هَلْ مِنْ مُسْتَغْفِرٍ فَأَغْفِرَ له? Is there anyone of mankind, is there anyone of my creation that seeks my forgiveness so that I may forgive him? In other words, my brothers and sisters in Islam, are your sins choking you? Have you been suffocated by your sins? If you have and they're bothering you, then get up and ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to forgive you. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, هَلْ مِنْ تَائِبٍ فَأَتُوبَ عَلَيْهِ Is there anyone that asks for a tawbah so that I may accept his tawbah? And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala asks, هَلْ مِنْ سَائِلٍ فَأُعْطِيَهِ Is there anyone that has any need so that he may ask me and I may grant him that which, he's, which he needs? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He says, هَلْ مِنْ مُسْتَشْفٍ is there anyone sick asking me to cure him so that I may cure him? My brothers and sisters in Islam, no one has been sick. No one of you has gone to the doctor after doctor, specialist after specialist and found no cure for his disease and for his situation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking you, if you are bothered by your situation, if you have a need with Allah, then what are you doing sleeping in that end of the night, in the last third of the night? You pray salat al-taraweeh, after salat al-taraweeh, immediately go home and sleep and make sure you wake up before salat al-fajr, even if it was half an hour or 15 minutes, and make sure you pray something to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and ask Allah azza wa jal during this blessed month and the greatest of dua that one can do in this month as Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam teaches Aisha radiallahu anha to make this dua in plenty during the last 10 nights of Ramadan. Why? Because the purpose of Ramadan is so that you come out of Ramadan and you're cleansed from your sayyat. So make sure that this is a dua that you are making every single day of your fasting. Allahumma inna ka'af Oh Allah, you love to pardon and you love to forgive. Allahumma inna ka'afu, tuhibbu al-afu wa fa'afu anni. Oh Allah, you are the one who pardons and you are the one who forgives and you love to do that. So forgive me and forgive me for my sins. My brothers in Islam, a dua is the most powerful worship you will make to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Ali radiallahu anhu once, he was asked, what is the most powerful of creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He said, it's the mountains. There's nothing more powerful than the mountains on earth. Then he said, metal is more powerful than the mountains because metal it dis metal destroys the mountain and it breaks it. And then he said, fire is more powerful than metal because it melts it. Then he said, water is most powerful than fire because it extinguishes it. Then he said, the clouds are more powerful than the water because it carries it. And he said, the wind is more powerful than the cloud because it moves it around. Then he said, the human being is more powerful than the wind because he walks against it. And then he said that sleep is more powerful than the human being because he cannot remain awake for, for, for 24 hours of the day. And then he said, depression and worry is more powerful than sleep because if one is depressed, he's not able to sleep. And the greatest weapon against depression and worry and sadness is a dua. You make one dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and it alleviates your problems and your issues. Make dua during this blessed month, my brothers and sisters, and we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to accept our dua. Oh, my brothers in Islam, and Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says in the authentic hadith that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala frees people from the fire every night and every day of Ramadan. Yani 60 opportunities. Yani subhanallah, can you imagine? Who from among us has already yani, attained that gift? Who from among us has already, his, his neck has already been freed from, from Jahannam? Fa, yani, don't waste, yani, make the most of asking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to free your neck from Jahannam. And when you know that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has accepted this from you and has freed you from it, you will only truly find what kind of blessing it was when you see yourself saved from that day. For this is something you're supposed to hold on to, a dua during Ramadan.